So this is pretty much going to be the framework for the bed base. That's going to be the frame setup. Pretty damn strong, in my opinion. So this is pretty much going to be the framework for the bed base. I'm not sure how much of the rain you can hear, but as I mentioned earlier, the rain started this, well, I'm not sure what time, but pretty much this morning and hasn't eased up. So sorry if it's a bit noisy with the rain. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the basic makeup of the framework. These will sit on top. So yeah, that's going to be the frame setup. Pretty damn strong, in my opinion. That's heavy raised wood, and um, I think that should be ample to support that bed base. I will be having one more bit of timber going from the top of that post and joining that there. And the idea with those pieces crossing uh, will be to cross or lap them at that uh, joint there. And I think that'll be the strongest idea. Also where they sit at this end, I will actually uh, lap them onto the top of that post. That's what you call a complex joint. <laughs> Goodness me. I can't think of any other way to do it apart from hand sawing it. So let's see how that fits, shall we? like a glove that is a good joint so I'll just do that with the other making progress
the rosewood after you sand it it's got a real soft it's hard to explain it it's so soft it doesn't feel like wood it's strange if for those who have um, worked with rosewood you'll understand but it has such a soft soft feel when you've when you've sanded it the bed frame for the V-berth and that is quite a big bed. The original height was, as I explained earlier, higher up where those bolts go through that bit of uh, stringer there. It does not need the extra height for the width of the bed, my goodness, nor cupboard space below. That's huge storage below there. That looks very good. Join me next week, where I start getting the marine ply cut up and made for the V-berth, and I also show you a little of the beautiful Sunshine Coast where I live around Malulaba. And also, feel free to join me for the next Tech Talk number two, coming out very soon. Mm -hmm.